Hello, my darling friends. Welcome to home, your 30-day yoga journey. Today is day 12. Today, I'm gonna invite you to bring a blanket to class if you have one. If not, no worries, because today we focus on nurturing. Let's get started. All right, let's begin today's session in a comfortable seat of your choice. Come on down to the ground. You can lay your blanket out like I have here or just keep it off to the side. For now, we're gonna sit up really tall and take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, just allow your shoulders to drop, really come into the present moment here. Whatever you're bringing to the mat, remember it's all good. Today's practice is low to the ground and super yummy. We're gonna just kind of nurture the body and the spirit, even if you've had kind of a, a monkey brain or if you're feeling a little stressed, um, this is gonna be an efficient practice to just kind of smooth it all out and nurture whatever is going on today. So this is what our practice is all about. Let's take another deep breath in and exhale, relax your shoulders. It's not about kind of sweeping what's going on under the rug so you can get your workout in. No, the yoga, yoga practice is um, unique in that way. Close your eyes or soften your gaze. Take one more full breath in and as you exhale, use that to relax your shoulders down and just land in the moment. Land here in your practice, own it. Excellent, then we'll bring the palms together, bow the head to the heart, start to feel that stretch through the back of the neck. Thank you so much for showing up. You guys are just so incredible. I can't believe we are actually doing this together, going on this journey. I never take it for granted, so awesome work. Enjoy today's session. Inhale in, exhale, lift the head. We're gonna come into a shape here where you're gonna wanna draw your left heel in towards your body, and then you're gonna shift your weight so that you can take your right heel behind you and towards your right glute. And if the hips are tight, which they likely are, we might have a little trouble dropping this hip down in socket, but in time, we will get there. So you can always take your blanket and put it right underneath this glute to support you here. So I've been kind of playing around here, showing up for the at-home yoga practice for a while, so mine's starting to drop here. We have this shape that's like, I'm posing with Benji for like my volleyball photo. So find this shape. And it should feel pretty snuggly in that right hip. All right, then we're gonna inhale, reach up towards the sky, big breath. Exhale, you're gonna draw your navel in and up and you're gonna twist to the left. Right hand comes to the outer edge of the left knee. Left fingertips come to support you behind. And then you're gonna play here with that right hip socket. You're gonna move a little in and out. Sit up nice and tall as you breathe in. And then use your exhale to release. We're gonna do a counter twist now, be very gentle. Left hand comes now to the outer edge of the right thigh, right fingertips behind. You're gonna collapse a little bit here, so we'll use the inhale to lift the heart, as always. Find a lift with the breath in, and exhale, twist, maybe looking past your right shoulder. Wonderful, from here, inhale in. Exhale to slowly release. Keep your right heel coming in towards center. We're gonna slowly, mindfully keep uh, right toes active as you move here. We're gonna extend that right leg and then we're gonna shift our hips so that we can face our right toes. Head to knee pose, Janu Sursasan, or your version. Let's see what happens here today. As we inhale, we're gonna reach the fingertips up high and I'd like to invite you to bend your right knee as you lift up. Then think up and over, so low belly draws up and in as you drape or work towards bringing your belly towards the top of the thigh. That was redundant, but you got it. Belly towards the top of the thigh. And then from here, you can work to straighten the leg. This should feel nurturing. You're, you're wanting to be active and attentive, but this should feel kind of yummy. So you don't need to slam your nose to the knee. We're not taking, um, I can say that. Okay, so 
I'll stop talking and allow you to listen to the sound of your breath here. Right knee can be as generously as you need. You can interlace the fingertips around the heel or keep them um, close to your center. Relax the weight of the head, listen to your breath. Take one more cycle of breath here in. Use your exhale to roll up and out of the shape. Take a second here to just notice how you feel. Soften through your right foot. And then let's switch. Right heel comes in. I think it's a, a good little um, tip. I think, I think it's a good idea, particularly if you're new to the practice, to just keep your feet kind of active and bright when you're moving through different shapes. It helps protect the joint. It, it seems like such a small thing, but um, trust me, it's, it's a good. It's a good idea. So keep those toes active as you bring your left heel towards your left glute. We're here. Benji, ready for our volleyball photo? Just giving everyone a second to get into the shape. And then just notice the sensation on that left side. What is different there, if anything? Okay. Here we go. Inhale, reaching all the way up towards the sky. Big breath. Lifting from the hip creases all the way up through the side body. And then gentle twist. Here we go. Left hand to the outer edge of the right knee. Right fingertips behind. Inhale to lift and lengthen here. Exhale to twist. Moving the energy here that runs up and down the spine. You got to bring the breath. Big inhale. Lengthen. Mm -hmm. Exhale, slow release. Counter twist. Paying attention to that left hip. Right hand comes to the outer edge of the left thigh or to your dog's head if you have one there. And then here we go. If you feel like you're collapsed in the spine, lift up from the sternum, lengthen through the crown, and then use your tools. Find that upward current of energy through the front body and that downward current of energy through the back body and see if that changes your shape at all. So we're working from the inside out and nurturing holistic practice here. Inhale in, use your exhale to slowly release. All right. Head to knee pose on the other side. You're going to keep your right heel in. Here we go. Let's see. How can I navigate this? Darling angel. Excuse me. Do you mind if I come here? Extend your left leg out long. That'll do. Excellent. And you're going to turn your center in your heart to face your left foot. Flex your left toes towards your face. <laughs> and here we go. Inhale, reach up towards the sky. Exhale, oh, so I'm seeing now I'm not, okay, let me be a better guide here. Inhale, reach up towards the sky. Thank you for hanging with me. Bend your left knee. So especially if you've been practicing for a long time, you're gonna wanna just like come here, boom. But let's bend the left knee, start with it lifted, and then drape over, and then from here is where we can find the extension. This is just a little bit, in my opinion, healthier. So we start to stretch through like the belly of the muscles, for example, the hamstring versus just where the muscles attach. Mm -hmm. And then come on down to your version of this shape, come into this um, kind of private little love cave here and listen to the sound of your breath. Feel the skin of the back stretch as you breathe in and the belly soften as you breathe out. Soften the skin of the forehead, relax the tongue in your mouth, soften the jaw. This posture, this asana providing a nurturing effect to the nervous system. But you have to bring the breath. You got it.
Inhale in. Exhale, slowly begin to roll it back up. Pause, soften through that foot. Let everything go here for a second. Just notice how you feel. And then we'll release that. We're gonna come now to Cobbler's Pose, Baddha Konasana. So now both heels are gonna come in. This is a great shape um, to consider lifting the hips so we can roll up the blanket, fold up the blanket, excuse me, sit up tall. Just give um, yourself a little more space to, to find length up through the spine. And then we'll start by grabbing the ankles and drawing the shoulder blades in together and down the back body. We've been doing this whole journey. So apply, apply here. Tops of the thighs get really heavy. And we find this lift up through the front and then kind of lean back here as you find this grounding energy through the back body. Great, inhale in. Exhale, bend the elbows, pull them back as if you were like in Chaturanga here. And we're gonna slowly look forward, looking into our reflection. I always joke, this is like that Zoolander moment, like, who am I? And then we can move the hands now to the toes. If you're practicing in a chilly environment, maybe you can warm your toes up here. Bend your elbows now left to right. And then play here, inhaling to find extension, maybe exhaling to fold in toward home, in towards yourself, your center. Listen to the sound of your breath. And trust, trust the practice. Trust that it's working. Trust that you are being led to the right place. Bring your breath. Now you're gonna wanna come out here. I lovingly invite you to stay. Stay a while. Three more cycles of breath, count them out. Move from your middle, draw your navel in, find center, and then roll up from there. Baddha Konasana, cobbler's pose, sit up nice and tall, inhale in. And exhale to release, awesome work. So check it out, before we get into the cozy wozies, I don't know if I've ever said that in my life, okay, great. Say it in front of millions of people, Adrian. <laughs> uh, I wanna bring you into a boat pose. What, this is supposed to be nurturing, but can we find, we're not gonna do high boat, low boat, but can we find a little, Core connecting, can we bring this kind of yummy layer of our theme into it? So you can even clasp opposite a wrist with the hand here as you lean back and, and let it be supportive. Or if you're like, perfect, I liked this practice but I just need a little fire in my belly, great, take it here. Last option would be to grab the shins, extend one leg, and then bend and extend the other. Maybe you extend both. Find that sense of calm in this Navasana, this boat shape. Or work to find it, right? It could be here. No problem, Adrian, I got it. Or here. Then find your breath wherever you are. And see if you can take three cycles of breath here. And then slowly release. 
Grab your blanket. All right, little, little Benji. You're gonna take your blanket. Oh, wow, I know. We can share it. And we're gonna bring the blanket to either cover your whole body or you can bring it to just wrap your feet. I'm just gonna get into the little burrito pose. The kids love burrito pose or like the kid in all of us. So wrap up like a little burrito. Looks like I have a breathing bolster here to lay my head on. If you don't have a breathing bolster, highly recommended. But you have to take care of them, okay. <laughs> here I go. Okay, excellent. Come on down to the ground. And we wanna get comfy here. You can bring, you can interlace the fingertips Bring the hands behind the head, elbows wide, maybe cactus arms, maybe fingertips softly interlace on the belly, or if you want to come into a, tradi a traditional, <laughs> sorry, I got so relaxed, <laughs> traditional Shavasana. Just allow your hands to rest gently at your sides. And then close your eyes and think about the things you would like to be held in. Think about the things, if anything, that you would like to be blanketed in. Support. Creativity. Love, sense of camaraderie or community. Think of the things that you would like to nurture and be nurtured in. And let's use this time on the mat to once again close the gap between the things that we want, that we want to attract and, and what we're experiencing in our everyday quality of life. If any of that resonates, wonderful. If not, don't you worry about a thing. Just take a deep breath in. And everyone use an exhale to relax the weight of your body completely and fully into the earth. Please do not underestimate the power of just a few moments of stillness here, consciously breathing. Talk about a moment of self-care. There's so many of you out there I know are caretakers. Some of you really intense and beautiful, almost heroic caretakers. So take just a moment here longer to blanket yourself in love and support and care. Fill your cup. You don't have to do anything. Just receive, just allow. Bring your awareness to your breath. As you're ready, begin to wiggle the fingers, the toes. You know you can always pause this video, just reach, hit the button, and then come back into the shape if you wanna be here longer. We're gonna slowly bend the knees, turn to one side, any side, and we're gonna press up to seated. And you can take your blanket and bring it around you. And if you don't have a blanket, don't worry. You can just use, you know, take the metaphor, right? And run with it, baby. <laughs> of blanketing yourself in love and support. Let's bring the palms together. You're gonna start to move the palms 
back and forth, creating a little friction, a little heat, a little energy. Then get a little faster. Close your eyes and get a little faster, a little faster, a little faster, and even faster. And then we'll bring the hands right to the chest, right to the heart, and just feel the warmth of your palms there. Close your eyes again. If you haven't already, tuck the chin just slightly. So some days we're gonna be asked to sweat here, to work hard. But may today's practice remind you that each time we show up on the mat, particularly with at-home yoga, we have an opportunity to welcome in this sense of being nurtured, of being met, of being supported held, blanketed in love, divine. That's a shout out to a Carter family tune called Anchored in Love Divine. All right, bring the palms together, thumbs up towards the third eye. You guys are doing awesome. It's such an honor and a pleasure to be on this ride with you. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Let's inhale in deeply. And exhale, deep bow today, all the way to the earth. Namaste.